Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. The topic of the video is security services and mechanisms. So let's get started. Before diving deep into the topic, let's have an overview of the whole picture of security services and mechanisms. In security goals, we learned about the three security goals that are confidentiality, integrity and availability. In the previous videos, we covered all the attacks that threaten these security goals. Now, to safeguard from these attacks and achieve the security goals, we have security services. These security services answer the question, what to implement to achieve the security goals. Under this, we have the following five security goals that are data confidentiality, data integrity, access control, authentication, and non-repudiation. After security services, we have security mechanisms that answer the question, how to implement the security services. Under this, we have the following security mechanisms that is encipherment, data integrity mechanisms, notarization, digital signature, authentication exchange, access control mechanisms, routing control, and traffic padding. In this video, we are going to cover all the security services. Now let's start the security services in detail. Let's start with the definition. So a security service is a processing or communication service that is provided by a system to give a specific kind of protection to system resources. So security services protect the system resources from all the security attacks. There are five security services, namely data confidentiality, authentication, data integrity, non-repudiation, and access control. The first two provide confidentiality security goal. Data integrity and repudiation provides integrity. And the last, that is access control, provide availability. This is not a strict mapping. In reality, all these services work mutually to achieve the security goals. Let's understand each of them properly. Starting with data confidentiality. This security service provides the protection of data from unauthorized disclosure. In this, we have many types. Let's start with the first one, which is connection confidentiality. This type provides protection of all user data on a connection. Let's call a Alice Bob connection for example. So the connection confidentiality service provides protection to all the data on a connection. The next type is connectionless confidentiality. Here it provides protection of all user data on a single data block. Let's call our Alice Bob example again. Suppose there is a data block consisting of three messages. So this service provides protection of this single data block. The next is selective field confidentiality. This service encompasses confidentiality of the whole message or a part of a message. The next is traffic flow confidentiality. This service gives protection against traffic analysis, thus protecting from snooping. We have covered traffic analysis and snooping in the previous video. Link in the i button. Do check it if you haven't. So this was all about data confidentiality. The next is authentication. Let's understand what is authentication. So authentication is proving an identity of oneself. The best example of authentication is a fingerprint. Since every person has a unique fingerprint, we can prove our identity by using that. Having understood authentication, let's go to the authentication service. So authentication service provides authentication of the parties. Let's call a Alice Bob example back to understand. In this service, we have two types. The first is peer entity authentication. In this, the service provides authentication of both the sender and the receiver. The next is data origin authentication. As the name suggests, here the service only provides the authentication of the origin, that is the sender. This was all about authentication. The next is data integrity. Here the service protects data from modification, insertion, deletion, and replaying. Let's see the different types in this. The first is connection integrity with recovery. So this service provides integrity to all the users along with recovery options. The second is connection integrity without recovery. It is same as previous but without the recovery options. The third is selected field connection integrity. As the name suggests, it provides integrity to selected fields of the user data. Let's move to the next security service which is non-repudiation. So this service protects data against repudiation by either parties. We have covered repudiation attack in the previous video. Link in the i button. Do watch it if you haven't. Coming back to non-repudiation security service. In this service, we have two types. Let's start with the first one, that is proof of delivery. So here, the sender of the data can prove that the data was delivered to the intended recipient. So your Alice has a delivery proof which tells that the message is delivered to Bob. The next is proof of origin. Here, receiver of the data can prove the identity of the sender if denied. 
So as you would have guessed, Bob has the origin proof which tells that message is sent by Alice. Now let's move to the last security service which is Access Control. This service protects resources from unauthorized access. It also protects the resources from DOS attack. Let's understand using some graphics. From the previous video, we know that in a DOS attack, Oscar sends a lot of bogus requests to Bob's server which results in a server crash. But now Bob know about the access control security service and hence he configure the server in such a way that only authorized people can access it. In this case, he register Alice as the authorized entity. Now when Oscar starts his DOS attack, all his bogus requests are dropped since he is not authorized. And when Alice sends a message, since she is authorized and the server is up thanks to access control security service, the message gets delivered thus achieving the availability security goal. So we have successfully completed all the security services. In the next video, we will cover the security mechanisms. So that's it for the video guys. Thanks for watching the video and if you have any doubt, please do let us know in the comment section below. And if you have found the video helpful, then do like and share the video with your friends and subscribe to be the best channel for more such videos. Meet you in the next video of the CSS series. Bye bye.